I'm going 13,000 feet. Fly like a bird, buddy. It's like wearing a tight diaper. The stakes are high. I am good. Two best friends compete in hobbies for your entertainment. The crew gives them hints on how to win. They learn about the hobby, prepare for the hobby, and try for themselves. Loser faces a consequence. This is Hobbies. Alright, so you guys know this is going to play out the same as all the other episodes. Um, this script acts as a legal verbal agreement stating that you will both carry out this hobby with enthusiasm in accordance with the riddle we will provide to you. So if- Riddle me this. Do you have something to riddle? No, Do I you just accept? Say Jim Carrey says guys. that in Batman no. Forever. Yeah, okay, I guess we accept then. I accept. I, I guess. I need more than I that. I accept your little riddle game. Yes, okay. Gotcha. Good to go. Okay. Taylor, you know I need a yes or a no. Okay, yes. <laughs> to go to What's the wrong with you? Thank you. <laughs> you have to go to the washroom? <laughs> All right. Do we okay? need to take a break? Can we take a break? No, let's, let's, okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's we're going to leave and give you a few minutes to deliberate mm -hmm. uh, with the riddle. And that's way okay. to talk amongst okay. yourselves. Sonia? That's sick. Okay. Thanks. Great. Yep. This is cute. Oh. <sighs> Okay, rip my own a little bit. As thou fall from the Lord's good hand, what if thou make a stew with thy guts on the land? These are thy ponders that puzzle thou so, but shush it about them, thou must stayeth left. Judgment will fall on the one not so clever, and he shall soon learn a great sense of forever. Whatever, I'm smarter than you, so I'm gonna get this. I'm not even gonna worry about this. I'm gonna be so scared of jumping out of a plane. Exactly, and then after you skydive, they're gonna make you do something embarrassing, and I'm gonna it, be nothing could there be with as my bad as jumping out of a plane. That's gonna be the worst. I don't know. I'm not gonna figure this out right now. I will see you when we interview a skydiver. These are thy ponders. Fuck off! Ow! We can do with no riddle, huh, buddy? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Rob, thanks so much for coming. Nice Glad to, to meet be here. you. I'm Carter. Taylor, nice to meet you, man. You're like incredibly good looking. Yeah? Yeah, you're thanks, like a man. good looking guy. All right, you want to go under this, uh, this yeah. parachute? Yeah, Josh wants us to do it under the chute, so we can all just pick an end. Maybe, uh, <laughs> yeah, if you guys can come in. Okay, okay. ready? And One, up. two, three, three. Up. All right, everyone in. Oh, shit. Sit oh, down. shit. Oh, fuck. All right, oh, look shit. at that. Oh. So, uh, when was the first time you ever went skydiving? Uh, when was it? Yeah. Uh, two years ago in Burlington at a place called Skydive Suite. Yeah. Just tented up. We're going at a place called Skydive Toronto tomorrow. Yeah, this is it. our first time skydiving. What, what's, what's skydiving like? Why don't we just ask you that right uh, off the well, You guys will be doing a uh, tandem tomorrow, so you're going to be strapped to a tandem master. He'll have a few thousand jumps under his belt. I don't know, I never actually did a tandem myself. I just did a solo jump right off the bat with two instructors. But um, I think you guys will love it. I will. Uh, I think this is a bad idea. It's, it's really freaking hot in it's here. It's a little toasty. Sweating. Sweating, Sweating all day. I, yeah. I think we should get on top of it. I think that's a good idea, yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. Right, I'm just going to oh. chill in here for a bit. <laughs> Um, okay, I have a question. Yeah. We were both watching this like Will Smith thing where Will Smith was talking about it. He oh went, do you know what I'm talking about? Have you seen it on Facebook? I, I, I watched it about it. You hate that? Is that, is that I, not... I, 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 I watch it every I, night before I go to bed oh, because man. it gives me... Okay, you know, for those who don't know, it's like Will Smith talking about like yeah. him jumping and like it being the best thing that he's ever done to always like jump. God placed the best things in life on the other side of terror. Compared to any other like human thing that we yeah. do, like is skydiving like the best thing? Uh, sex is pretty great, definitely. Okay, do approve, like but it's uh, it's it's definitely a, a different experience. I think doing it and then like being fine and landing safely, like that's a pretty great feeling. They say it doesn't feel like falling, and it, I was no, going, like, "What are you talking about?" It's, it's kind of like you're it's floating. It's a definition of falling. You're falling out of a plane. It feels kind of like you're floating feet. though, because you fall at a, like pretty constant speed, and then after a while, it just feels like you're almost being like pressed up. It's pretty hot out here. Um, I guess we'll just call it quits here. You know, Rob, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. All right, it's uh, the shower. In about four hours, we're gonna be jumping out of a plane. And I actually look like a butthole right now. I think I'm really breaking out because of fear. Skydiving is a really interesting confront with fear, right? So I'm already in the lead. I took his riddle 
and knowing him, he's not gonna even ask for another one because he's a lazy piece of crap. I don't have the riddle um, because Carter ripped it up, but I know that in the meeting, I remembered that it was the person who shows the least amount of fear about jumping out of the plane who will succeed in the competition. So don't make a stew, don't be freaked out, don't freak out. I'm just going to pretend that I really wanna do this and that I'm really amped to freaking jump out of a plane and hopefully I will win this thing and Carter can I suck at this a dig. How are you feeling? We're approaching, we're 10 minutes away. I'm uh, feeling great. I am really excited to jump out of a plane at 13,000 feet. Nothing will go wrong. It'll be really fun. It's 13,000 feet? That's 13,000 feet. Consensus, who do you think is more likely to back out, out of me and Taylor? Carter, for Carter. sure. Carter. Me? What do you mean? Carter, 100%. Carter, 100%. Wait, he doesn't even like roller coasters. I don't like roller coasters, I don't like ladders, but one thing I'm not is a bitch. Ugh. At 600 meters, turn left onto fourth line. Fourth line. It's good. Woo! Here we go! Hey, we're here at Skydive Toronto. We're gonna go skydiving. How are you feeling, Taylor? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do this thing. So am I. We're going 13,000 feet. Fly like a bird, buddy. Uh, ow. Okay. Let's go. Anyways, Let's uh, go. we're going inside now, so I'm excited. catch you guys in a bit. Oh, fuck this up. Oh, thank God. Oh. So, today, I've been doing a lot of amped up, a lot of these, trying to show that I'm ready to go, ready to jump out of this plane. I'm actually not that nervous, so I'm ready to go. I also wore that Superman costume for the interview, which means that I don't give a fuck, and that's exactly how I'm going into this. I know I'm gonna win this, and I know I'm gonna have a great time up there, and everything's gonna be smooth sailing, coming fast and coming low. Oh, there's a daddy long legs on me. Oh, oh God, there it is. Jesus Christ. So you're not scared. So I'm gonna be calm. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay, it wasn't. Good, it's like wearing a tight diaper. Do I want to open the parachute? Question of the day. Um, it's okay, we can talk about it in the plane. Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I need to let that stew in the old noggin a little bit. So I had to switch uh, tandem instructors the first time I attached you because I was a little too heavy for the last person. So I think it's bullshit. Hello, we are the dream team. Right here, one and two. That's it, we are. Who's jumping? You're jumping. Me, I'm, I'm jumping. We are gonna go shred some gnar, buddy. Shred some gnar. this guy's gonna yeah. capture the whole thing right That's here. right. Are you ready? We'll I'm, I'm ready, ready, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's get it, man. Let's go, guys. Hey, he's got the coolest guys ever. Uh, where's my team? My fucking team. I, I don't need anyone, because I'm sick. So, I could probably do it solo if I wanted to. All right.
Okay, let's figure this out. We need to go see Fionn now. Let's we go. We could have used any fucking plane, Ben Ball. <laughs> Carter, what's up, dude? He's on your phone right now. Um, but you know, you just flew away in the plane, and here we are with Fion. You'll learn the true sense of forever. What's up, dude? Do you understand now? Okay, Do you understand now the riddle? Let's get Taylor. Yeah! You just jumped out of a plane! How was that? That was fucking insane. Yeah, buddy! Here, let me give you a hand. Thank you. So, how was that? <laughs> I was fucking insane. I can't, I, there's no other words. Holy shit. Yeah, anyway, there's your buddy over there. You want to go say hi? Go say Thank hi. you for jumping at Skydive Toronto. Holy shit! He's alive! <laughs> that was the craziest thing I've ever done. That was yeah. insane. I feel like I swallowed <laughs> literally three meals worth of air. <laughs> yeah. it, it felt, this is the weirdest thing that no one told me about. It felt like you were taking shots of vodka the entire time you're flying down. I couldn't breathe for like Because if you got the air in your seconds. mouth, it stung and it felt like you were drinking mouthwash. Yeah. I, didn't, like, oh my I God. didn't remember one thing. He didn't tell me, I was doing my, he was like tapping me. I was like, <laughs> he's like tapping me like, oh, oh. And I, like, I, didn't, I didn't put my legs up. I didn't do anything right. And I still survived. Hell <sighs> <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm high. I'm literally like, I'm like drunk and high. And I'm oh, sad feet. Oh, no. Oh, what? No. <laughs> you doing stick and pokes right now? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh... All right, so they're up in the air now, uh, and they don't know this, but we have Fion here, who's a professional uh, stick and poke artist. Basically, when they land, we so we figured that they just we just give them a stick and poke each uh, because they kind of both failed the challenge. They're both pretty afraid, so. But like, what defines calm? I was pretty calm. All right, let's get to it. I lied down <laughs> immediately, and I didn't say a word. Options. Fall hard, fearless, and sky bros. I've never, done, I've never done stick and poke compared to like other tattoos, is it? It's quite literal, you can feel every poke of it. This guy's never had a tattoo before. Nor do I plan on getting one. You don't plan on getting a tattoo? Ever. Never. So who do you think is more likely to back out, out of me and Taylor? Carter, for Carter. sure. Just get it, in a, just get it a small you can one. Get one. I'm out. Just I'm get not, a I'm small one in a, in a spot. I just jumped out of a plane! <laughs> I am not getting a tattoo! Yeah, do it. You have to do it, it's the whole show. You I'm signed sorry, a contract. Man. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. No, that doesn't count. 
That's not fair. Well, then I should win by default. This is so not fair. Like, I'm never gonna forget this. But it'd be a serious fucking consequence coming his way, I swear to God. I don't want sky bros on my ass. I hate you more than I hate them. Right? I don't know, I will, I'll take it. It's not forever. I'm gonna get you back so good. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh, this is, a, this is a tough spot. Come on, Carl. I don't, I, don't do I don't do tattoos. You got none? None. We're Can there be a double it. challenge next time for you, then, yeah? <laughs> he knows what's up. I know what's up, man. Yeah. We were up. <laughs> and then we went down. Have fun with this, bro. Woo! Looking cool, man.